participating in a rally holding a sign that read, impeach the Muslim Marxist. The photo spread on left-wing message boards. He was also pictured at a Glenn Beck rally and at other rallies basically dressed in Nazi insignia. So if this is the same guy, and it looks very much like the same guy, I don't think it's been confirmed yet, but he's a spitting image for the guy who asked the Muslim question at the Trump event. He's basically a, a clown that plays the role of a low-grade racist moron to try and make conservatives look bad. And, you know, Democrats have played these tricks on numerous occasions in the past. They like to run these political false flags to try and demonize Republicans and conservatives. And this is just another example of Democratic false flag setups in a similar context to Ahmed's clock bomb, which has been a raging controversy over the past week. Kit Daniels put out an article on Infowars.com yesterday, video man debunks clock kid by recreating Ahmed's clock in 20 seconds. So this whole story was based around the notion that this kid was a science geek, an innovator, a genius to some extent. Of course, he got the invitation from Obama to the White House because basically the school freaked out and thought that this, quote, clock looked like a bomb, probably because it did look like a bomb. But of course, that's politically incorrect because the kid's Muslim. So obviously, he must have been targeted for his skin color or religion. But Kit Daniels writes that a man debunked the official story behind the clock kid by building a near exact copy of Ahmed Mohammed's clock in about 20 seconds using the guts of a store-bought clock and a briefcase. As the story goes, Ahmed, a 14-year-old Muslim high school student in Irving, Texas, took his homemade clock to school to impress his engineering teacher. Turns out that it wasn't that impressive because another individual was able to recreate that clock in a matter of 20 seconds, again, proving that he was not innovative and that this, quote, clock looked more like a bomb because it was just a collection of wires and circuit boards. So again, they're using that for political grandstanding, for political correctness, when the story looks like a complete setup. So again, the clock in the video is a near perfect clone of the clock Ahmed took to class, including the nine volt battery, hook up the wall cord and the snooze button, Ahmed didn't build the clock, but rather ripped the guts out of a store-bought clock and shoved them into a suitcase he took to school. Coming up on InfoWars Nightly News, David Knight reports on the Pope's visit to the US. But before that, the spokesman of the pot-bellied pedophile network educates us about how pedophiles are people too. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. I might as well just... Are you ready to show your disapproval for Hillary Clinton? Get your Hillary for Prison 2016 t-shirt today at the InfoWars store. Hurry up because these things are selling out faster than Hillary Clinton. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years.
Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. I'm running for president. Everyday Americans need a champion, and I want to be that champion. I'm hitting the road to earn your vote, and I hope you'll join me on this journey. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. Welcome, children. Welcome to the newest trendy liberal program brought to you by the liberal trendy establishment media. You know who's coming out of the closet now with federal judges ruling on it and saying it's good all over the world and writers for Salon.com telling you it's time to love the pedophile. I just said it. It's all about a sexual preference. When we grab your kid out of the back of the yard and teach them how to love. And it's all right with our preference that you belong to us. Just like Melissa Harris Perry said, your kids don't belong to you, they belong to the state. Part of it is we have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. And the people that make up the state like me. So now it's time for you to learn it's an act of domination, an act of control. And we're not just going to sexually abuse your children. We're going to forcibly inoculate them with deadly pathogens known to brain damage them, and we're gonna rape their brains, rape their minds, and make you take care of them for decades when they're autistic, wearing diapers, crying at night. Because that's what we like to do, and you're so weak and pathetic, you'll do whatever we tell you. So now I'm coming right out. I don't have a message to the parents out there, I have a message to the children. You belong to the state and Big Pharma, you belong to the cult of the PBP, the pot belly pedophile. We're going to take good care of you. Let me show you where you're going to be living now once the state takes you away. Once the state teaches you how to enjoy yourself. Come on in. You think Sandusky, you think the Catholic Church with the pedophiles is, is isolated? 
It's system-wide. We control this country and the world now, and your children belong to us. So mommy and daddy aren't going to be able to protect you. Just like all the big defense contractors caught shipping kids around. Who do you think they feed them to? Us! We're going to ship the narcotics into your country. We're going to take your kids. We're going to do whatever we want. We're going to sit up there on television and in print. And the new trendy group is going to be people you used to call pedophiles. Now we're upstanding citizens and your kids belong to us. You better get used to that and understand it, kids. Just like California passed a law that kids can decide to be vaccinated even if their parents don't want to. That's us, the state, getting involved with your kids. What do you think transgender bathrooms are about? Well, we can teach five-year-olds that there's three bathrooms. We can teach them to be sexually confused. And once we set that precedent, NAMBLA, an organization that the United Nations has accepted and promoted, can have its way and say that your children can be turned over to us. So again, kids, let me show you the type of place you're going to be living in. You know, the big orphanages we run, different facilities around the country. This is the type of place you're going to be living. You don't need your mommy and your daddy. You don't need the family that belongs to that bygone age of barbarism and evil. This is where you're going to be living, right here. Look how beautiful this is. Look how much you're going to enjoy this. Because you got, you got the state and people like me that really, really love you. And you've got the papa, the pope. You know, we took over that organization. We blackmailed them. We told them, you let us completely run your organization, we're gonna bring you down with our networks of PVPs inside. And now the papa, he's come in to take over. He's letting folks know the state's God. He's telling Catholics, back off on abortion. Damn right. We're gonna sell your baby's body parts. We're gonna keep your babies alive. We're gonna sell their organs because it's loving and it's good. Just look at where you're gonna be living. Look how much you're gonna be enjoying it. And right in here, there's even more fun because the United Nations has called for after we've broken up the family, we're gonna start human sacrifice in public for Gaia. So next, little kids, we're gonna start killing you in public, according to the United Nations. Who would have believed we'd be announcing the name father and mother and boy or girl, if he or she is hurtful. Because the truth is, until you submit to us, you are anathema. You existing and being happy and having good lives and good husbands and wives and good children is against our way of life. You're discriminating against us by existing. So again, I'm gonna tell your mommies and your daddies all something right now. This is your new home, right here with us. And that's why we're coming out in the courts we're coming out with our good buddies like Jimmy Savelle with his torture dungeons and his necrophilia dungeons, best friends with Prince Charles. We're here to tell you, you belong to us. So when we take one of these bags after we've been torturing you for a few months and wrap it around your head and smother you and kill you, <laughs> you still won't go to mommy and daddy because we're going to go to hell. We're going to rule you forever because we're trendy and we're liberal and you do what we say. So you follow the language we say, you talk like we say, and you remember under the Stockholm Syndrome, you need to submit to us and do whatever we say. To the people of the West, you will pay for any illegal aliens, migrants, you will pay for all the free equipment, all the free babies, all the free welfare, the same thing to Europe. We're going to flood you with people and they openly say your women belong to us and we're going to take it from you because you want everything taken from you. You do whatever you're told. We set up a culture of submission when you give in to us and do whatever you're told. So, mommies and daddies, show your kids where they're coming. This is their new heaven. This is the God you worship. You think we're going to stop with 54 million aborted babies in America? We're going to keep the babies alive. We're going to sell their organs. We're going to kill the old people. We're going to kill the vets. We're going to cut their funding off. We got death lists, death panels. You want death, you're going to get it. It's what you're looking for. It's what you're begging for. It's what we're going to give you. This is what you asked for. So now a message from the former pedophiles to now the heroes. A message from the heroes to the slaves. You're going to see us, mark my words, on ESPN getting courage awards. 
Mark my words. Put the kids over there. We'll get them in a minute. <laughs> Another shipment. <laughs> Suck their souls out. Take their innocence and destroy it. You're going to see us giving courage awards. You're going to see us being worshipped by the time you're done because there's nothing you won't put up with scum. So crawl in your hole and die. The earth belongs to us now. Your children belong to us now. So 